Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we will learn how to use the rate limiter for a specific logic not for whole HTTP request. So let's start. First of all, here is an example of a rate limiter. So here I can use this middleware called throttle. I think most of us know about it. And it means I can send request to this URL three times each 60 seconds. So for example here, I will back send one, two, three and if i try to consume it again it will throw this error because it's allowed to visit it only three times per minute so i will clear my cache because it store it stores it in the cache back again and here i will remove this and in my learning controller we can use it for a specific logic if you want i will say rate limiter this class here and we have attempt method so as you can see here it takes four parameters the first one is the key of that limiter so I will say it online users and how many time can be consumed per minute I will say consume it or the maximum of attempts per minute is five so we can call it five times at most every 60 seconds and the callback function here that will work when we consume it so I will say a log right in my log here info rate right and the last thing after how many seconds remove this uh, attempts and reset it again from zero by default it reset it after 60 seconds so I will keep it here you can change it to any value and in my log it's clear now I will uh, send request here send request 1 it wrote a rate here 2 3 4 here 5 one last time and if I try to send a request again it will write anything because it's allowed maximum to be consumed five times per minute uh, a use case for that for example imagine you use a third part uh, api and it's constrained and or have uh, restrictions to send a specific number of requests each uh, minute i think it's a good idea so imagine here we have a, a firebase database that we can read online users and instead of reading it each time from firebase we can read it five times per minute and store it in a cache so we can say here for that online users equal to Ahmed for the first time and I will put it in a cache I put and I will call it a fire base here online and I will store this online users array and then I can see return cache get and return this key now let's try to send a request for the next 60 seconds send it returns Ahmed send again nothing changed imagine now a new user be online send it's joined another user for example a Muhammad send try to send again 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 and now let's remove one of them and let's see refresh now nothing removed because I called it five times and the last time result was that so this is a case for example for reducing the cost of reading uh, from Firebase or like maybe for Amazon APIs it consumes a very specific number of requests per second to be allowed to consume as their APIs and most of APIs actually doing that right so again we have uh, some uh, other methods for that called available in this available in takes this key also the same key of that rate limiter of or attempts uh, shows you how many after or after how many seconds it will be available again 
so here I will close it send now I finished my five times I will finish them sorry one two three four five and if I try to use anything here it's still and I will say they undump after how many seconds it will be available so change as you can see reduced after a uh, 41 37 and it will be changed right and then I can call them again so even if I uh, do something like that call again still same results and let's see here refresh after 60 seconds when it becomes zero now it's ready to call uh, this rate limit attempt again right and if you want to remove them Im immediately you can use rate limiter clear but let me show it first now it becomes zero and if I here remove it remember in the last time it returns only Ahmad and Ali now it must return all of them send right and I will consume all of them now if I try to remove it it will not uh, called as you can see and now let's see our uh, available in method it available after 42 seconds but if you want to clear it immediately you can use rate limiter clear and the same case that we used for attempt so back here again and I will die undump now it's ready and we can start again and so on and so on right I will add here another value it will be added because I was activating this method now remove 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 here it will work and if I try to add another here it will not work but I will clear it immediately now it worked here is a quick tip about using a rate limiter inside or for a specific logic in your Laravel application if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos